Hi, hello people. Welcome back to Smart Learning YouTube channel. We have a opening from EPAM systems with two different roles. One is software engineer and the other one is automation engineer. We'll discuss that opening in this video. So do watch this video till then. And if you're watching the video for the first time, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you won't miss any type of notifications from our channel. Okay, then let's get started. As I said before, EPAM is hiring for two different roles. One is for junior software engineer and the other one is for junior software test automation engineer. Now let me share you the eligibility for junior software engineer role. First one is graduation year must be 2020 or 2021 and 2022. Education qualification must be B or B Tech, M or M Tech and that too from the domains CSC or IT or ECE or any computer science team. Coming to the technologies they are offering for, first one is open source Java, second one is .NET, third one is front end technologies like JavaScript, Angular or React or Node.js, fourth one is cloud technologies like AWS, Azure or GCP. Next criteria is you need to have minimum 60% throughout your education. This is all about eligibility and required skills. Now let me share you some other details related to this junior software engineer role. The CTC they are offering for this role is 6 LPA plus standard benefits. Job locations are any EPAM Indian offices. It may be Hyderabad or Pune or Bangalore etc. Once you qualify for this role, you will be having 3 months training in Hyderabad. Coming to the joining month, it may be July or August or September 2022. These are the details related to junior software engineer role. Now coming to the junior software test automation engineer. The eligibility is as follows. First one is graduation year. It must be 2020 or 2021 and 2022. Education qualification can be B or B Tech and M or M Tech. Any stream or branch from B or B Tech and M or M Tech are eligible. And MCA is also eligible for this test automation engineer role. Coming to the technologies they are offering are testing for both functional and automation using Java or C Sharp or Python. Next one is minimum 60% is necessary to apply for this role too. Job location and training locations are same as for software engineer role. For this role also we will be having 3 months of training in Hyderabad and CTC is also same 6 LPA plus standard benefits. These are all the details related to this junior software test automation engineer. Now coming to the selection process. Selection process is same for both the roles. And also exam pattern is also same for both the roles. Now coming to the selection process. First round is online coding challenge. It is based on core Java. The mode of test will be online. Second round is coding challenge. It is also based on core Java. But the mode of test will be offline for the second round. Third round is collaborative discussion which is group discussion. This is also will be offline mode. Fourth round is technical discussion. It is also offline mode. Fifth round is behavioral evaluation. It is also face to face in offline mode. This is the selection process for both software engineer and test automation engineer roles. As I mentioned before from second round it will be offline. The interview location sir, first one is Hyderabad, second one is Bhuvaneshwar, third one is Chennai, fourth one is Guwahati, fifth one is Jaipur, sixth one is Ahmedabad, seventh one is Gurkhan, eighth one is Indore. These are the interview locations. Based on your current location, you can choose the location. And the date of interview will be 14th May 2022, Saturday. Once after you register for this drive, you will be redirected to the other page to take the assessment. This is the first round which is nothing but coding challenge. And the candidates who clear the first round will be invited for the second round of offline coding assessment. And this coding assessment is based on core Java. It contains the topics like OOPs, data structures and algorithms and dynamic programming. For the last four rounds, you have to arrange your own transportation. They won't provide any transportation facility. And one more point is, students who attempted the previous recruitment drives are eligible, except those who could not clear in group discussion, technical and HR round of interviews. This is all about the job description for both the roles. I hope it is clear. I am providing the up link in the video description. 
so apply as soon as possible that's all from this video guys stay tuned in our channel for more latest updates if you like this video please like the video and do share the video don't forget to subscribe my channel till if you have any type of questions feel free to reach us in our instagram page or telegram account links provided in the video description thank you all thank you for watching